everyone, this is Dave from Geek Noise and welcome to my continued coverage of the Apple iPad. And in this third video I'm going to be covering the Safari and Mail apps that come pre-installed. Now these two application icons are located in what looks like the dock on Mac OS X. But in fact this doesn't uh, magnify in any way, they're static icons. And you launch Safari simply by tapping on the icon like so. Now this is my own Geek Noise website it's been preloaded onto the Safari browser. If I tap in the address bar at the top here, you'll see that the keyboard appears. Also, it shows all of my bookmarks I synchronized over using iTunes, so I can easily access uh, different websites by tapping on the appropriate bookmark. And when the new page is loaded, I can navigate back to the previous page with this arrow here. I can navigate forwards. I can also go to different pages, so if I tap this icon here, it actually brings up a whole selection of pages that I can choose from, from various sites that I've already visited, so I could perhaps go back to that Geekanoids website there. I can also uh, add a bookmark for the page that I'm on, or I can open up my bookmarks by tapping this particular icon here, and this brings up my whole list of bookmarks, all neatly organised into their categories. Now I wanted to start off showing you that in portrait form because as you can see it does work very well in that format but of course the beauty of the iPad is I can rotate it round into landscape format and now we've got an even easier to use uh, viewing experience. We can scroll around the page, we can zoom in and out using pinch to zoom. If I play this embedded YouTube video it doesn't actually play it within the browser, it will launch the YouTube application. So I'm not going to do that for this particular demonstration. If I want to um, double tap, it also zooms in. If I tap on a piece of text, it actually highlights it. And I can magnify text to find where I want to read. And then it also allows me to copy sections of text. And I've got highlighted here two little... Uh, dots. One of the dots I can move one way to extend my selection and here I go, I'm go. i going to go all the way back up to the first word. So this is now highlighted all the way up to the top and then this second dot I can move down to highlight all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm given this copy icon so I can copy that whole section of text to paste into maybe another application. So let's leave that selection for now and let's double tap to zoom back out to full view just want to show you that in Google search we can use the on-screen keyboard which is nice and big in this landscape view and we can search for whatever we want I'm a bit biased I'm going to search for Geekanoids and then the Google search comes up and we're presented with the search results so really nice browsing experience um, we can uh, tap on links, go to various pages on various websites, real joy to use, um, very fluid scrolling and I really can't fault it at all when it comes to browsing experience. Well thanks very much for watching, this has been Dave from Geekanoids, please come back soon and check out my further coverage of the Apple iPad. In my very next video I'm going to be covering the Photos application and the iPod application. Until then, I'll say goodbye for now. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.